Hey guys, how you doing? So today we're going to be discussing the famous slap or the infamous slap, okay, by Will Smith. Will Smith literally walked up the stage at the Oscars, at the Oscars of all places. Will Smith walked up the stage and went to Chris Rock, okay, Chris Rock was um, the host for the show. He went to Chris Rock and gave Chris Rock a slap simply because Chris Rock made fun of his wife okay yeah so we're going to get into more details about it okay but you guys are welcome to my channel welcome to this podcast this podcast is available on apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, and spotify yeah so you guys i've done a video about will smith and jada pinkett before so i'm going to leave that video linked you know somewhere in the description box uh, yeah i talked about their relationship basically how i don't understand their relationship and to me i feel like they're in a toxic relationship but nobody asked me okay and i feel like what's played out at the oscars is basically a fallout or an extension okay is a manifestation of what is going on behind the scenes that i have been speculating about okay i think at this point all of us know about the slap and what led to the slap and about the joke and all of that but in case you don't know so jada pinkett actually has alopecia which leads to hair loss okay like you can't really control it you're you'll just be losing your hair and she had opened up about it on her show before personally i didn't know about it i don't really follow her i don't really know much about her so i didn't even know that she was struggling with alopecia but people who know her and following her and have been following her they all knew that she was struggling with alopecia and she was very emotional about it i think you know yeah so um during the night during the oscars um chris rock made a joke chris rock is a comedian first of all in case you guys don't know who he is chris rock is one of the to me one of the greatest comedians of his time okay one of the greatest black comedians so one of the greatest comedians period you know chris rock is one of them so um chris rock was basically teasing everybody you know making jokes about everybody and then he made a joke about jada pinkett and said you know he's waiting for part two of gi jane okay if you guys don't know gi jane gi jane is basically one action movie about if you guys know gi joe so basically the the female version of gi joe so this is gi jane and she's on low court um she's basically like a badass you know action figure and you know gi jane is on low court as well so for me it wasn't really a very bad joke it was just more like a um you know a joke basically that's how i saw it but it's not me that's supposed to see okay it's not me they told the joke too, so it, my opinion was not really counting whether somebody should be offended or not but yeah apparently jada was offended if you even look at her if you even saw her face in the clip she was actually offended by the joke she didn't really laugh about it on the other hand will smith actually laughed okay and i'm going to point talk about that later will smith actually laughed and i guess when he turned and saw his wife's face he was like oops I don't goof, okay? I don't goof. I need to go and defend her honor. I need to go and prove that, you know, my laugh wasn't intentional. That's how I feel. I feel like Will Smith actually went up there to slap Chris Rock. More like a statement to Jada that I didn't laugh. Or like, my laugh wasn't real laugh. Like, I'm not laughing at you. I'm not one of the people adding to your sorrows. That's how I feel, you know? So, um, yeah, th that's basically the backstory. Uh, Chris Rock you know talked about it so people are like oh that was a line he had crossed the line he shouldn't talk about her alopecia to me he didn't even talk about her alopecia okay he talked about the fact that she had low cuts right but you know he shouldn't have gone there you know blah 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 blah, blah. and many people are now applauding many people, well i think it is people are divided on this as with any topic okay but many people are for will smith saying that yes he defended her honor it was right for him to go and slap chris rock some people deserve to be slapped because they are wagging their mouths because they are saying things they are crossing the line with what they say so he damn chris rock basically deserved the slap and people are saying that chris rock has actually you know been taking a jab at you know will and jada for a long time i really don't have any proof of that i've not seen any proof that we, that chris rock have been singling out will and jada and you know attacking them verbally i haven't seen it nobody has shown me any clip of it the only time i know that chris rock actually took a jab at jada was at the previous oscars i think 2016 oscars jada felt like her husband was supposed to be nominated or was, was, was supposed to win an award for his performance in that movie okay but um he did not he wasn't nominated so she decided to boycott the oscars right which is funny because now you're attending the oscars anyway and now you're gladly collecting awards so when they don't when you don't win it's a bad it's a bad uh, show but when you win it's a good show okay anyway so um yeah she decided to boycott the oscars 
And Chris Rock was hosting it as usual, and he was like, <laughs> Sis, nobody invited you in the first place. Like, nobody invited you. So, like, you were like boycotting. It's like me boycotting Rihanna's pants. That was, that was a joke he made. It's like me boycotting Rihanna's pants. It's like saying, I don't want to sleep with Rihanna. She's not begging you. She's not inviting you. Like, what are you? What are you boycotting? Okay, so that's basically his joke that he made. You know, you can't come and say you're boycotting something that nobody cares whether you, whether you attend or not. You know, they even invite you. So, that was it, you know, and that's the only time i know that chris rock actually made a joke about or a very you know grand joke about jada and will smith every other time i don't think he made it i, I don't know i don't have if you guys know you know jokes that he has made over the years then let me know because people are saying ah he's not today he has been taking he has been taking jabs on will smith, on jada for a long time or on the fact on the smiths for a long time and i'm like i don't really know about it maybe he has but it's not something so i mean yeah he, he hasn't made news anyway it hasn't turned on twitter you know, it hasn't it hasn't trended before now, so I don't know the joke people are talking about. Anyway, while some other people are of the school of thought that that thing, people like me, I'm like, no, are you a child? These are things that we actually tell our children: use your words, don't you know, don't be, don't bully, don't hit people. Use your words. If my ch if my child is throwing a tantrum and you know trying to you know beat somebody or fight or whatever when she wants, something, I'm like, no, don't do that. Use your words. Tell me what you want. Explain what you want. You know, tell me, tell me what you want, right? So these are things we teach our, ba our babies, we teach our children. Why are we condoning it when an adult, when a grown adult, okay, when a grown man is doing this, why are we condoning it, you know? So, um, yeah, people like me are like, no, he shouldn't have done that. There are different ways that he could have defended, because people are saying he's defending Jada. To me, he didn't really defend her. To me, what he did was just open her up to more criticism, opened himself and his family to up to more criticism, more yeah, because now people are now people are now having a few day, like yabbing him, talking about we'll see you in August, you know. Yeah, like people are now having a few day with this Smith. So at the end of the day, he didn't defend her honor. At the end of the day, all he did was just throw tantrums like a child, as far as I'm concerned. And to me, the bigger person in the picture was Chris Rock, right? Because Chris Rock did not Chris Rock was actually thrown off, like he was thrown off balance. Like I could tell in his following, um, uh, whatever, when he was now announcing other things, I could tell that the guy was struggling to really like calm himself down and just be more present. He was talking OP, almost like the slap where he said something in his brain. Like the guy was not really coordinated, right? But for me, he's like the bigger person because some people. If you come and slap me, they don't think twice. Some people have that... Re I don't have that reflex. I'm not a kind of person if you slap, I'll slap back. I'm, I don't have that reflex. Some people, if you slap them, they're going to slap you back. They don't care whether they are on... They're in front of the queen. They're receiving an award for uh, humanity or whatever. They don't care. Nobel, Nobel, Pri Peace, Pr Pr Nobel Prize for Peace. If you slap them, they're going to slap you back immediately, okay? Will Smith is actually lucky that Chris Rock took it well, as far as I'm concerned. But now, let me just talk more about both sides, right? And the points that I feel like both sides make before I tell you guys why I really choose the side of no violence, okay? Now, I understand the side of people who are saying Chris Rock crossed the line. I understand it, okay? Yeah, because there are some things that me, personally, I feel are off limits. Like, you shouldn't... I'm not even someone who is comfortable when when friends are yabbing each other i don't know i'm not that kind of person you hardly see me yab my friends you hardly see me insult my friends i'm not i'm not that kind of person i'm not comfortable with it i feel like jokes should be more hypothetical than actually for real like i can joke more about an hypothetical situation or a hypothetical situation or a hypothetical person but when somebody is there physically making somebody the butt of your joke clowning someone i don't i'm not comfortable with it right so for me yes I, i'm not someone who is comfortable with such jokes and i feel like he actually did cross a line especially if he knew she was struggling with alopecia if he did not know then it's fine but if he knew i don't i, I don't like people that clown others for you know or make jokes about other people's pain right i don't like it personally okay but at the same time with comedy that's why me personally i avoid comedy shows i don't really get it but personally i i've seen that with comedy it is normal to clown people who are in the audience okay this is not the first time they are going for award shows in in numerous award shows they actually employ um comedians to host it okay you see people like um uh, is it Rico, Rico Javis or something? That guy that is by British that acted in the British version of The Office. I think that was even the first version. Okay, that guy 
and that one his own is very straightforward some of the way he delivers his jokes you won't even be sure if it's a joke or not like that guy is like that they've even employed kevin hart before to host was it the oscars that he was supposed to host but something came out about him talking about you know gay people and all of that and then he now had to step down or whatever or they fired him i don't know okay but basically it has been a norm that comedians host award shows okay and whenever they host award shows they actually take jabs at people in the audience they make fun of people in the audience that was what chris rock was doing all night and mind you when they were yapping other people jada and will smith actually laughed at other people's jokes you know when things are funny when it's not about you okay we're talking about other people yeah it's quite funny it's about another person it's easy to laugh i have seen comedy skits i have seen comedy shows where they insult and yab or no, no let me not call it insult okay but where they make fun of people with serious disabilities people who don't have limbs people who are on wheelchairs they make fun of them and some of these people actually laugh along with the comedians me i'll be there i'll be like <laughs> what kind of joke is that but the person they're making the, they're making fun of will laugh along okay so yeah for me it might be off limits for you it might be off limits but are you the standard like what makes your own definition of off limits stand as the universal definition of off limits right okay at some point you have to realize that what's off limits to you is just off limits to you because clearly when he made that joke will smith laughed if it was something that was so outrageous he wouldn't have even laughed like even when that reflects because i know that yeah sometimes when you're in a comedy show and everybody's laughing and laughing you're already in a laughing spirit so anything they say we know will be funny to you until you really think about it okay but if it was that outra outrageous i don't think will smith would have laughed now the other side and which is the side that i stand on is the fact that there is no justification on earth for you to actually get physically violent with somebody for what they said okay it's a different case if you're in my face like he's talking to me in my face and i'm like step back your saliva is touching me okay step back your breath is on my head step back you're actually invading my personal space that is a different case right it's a different case where somebody's actually talking to you and pointing and poking you like okay when someone is talking to you and poking at you like when that bianca and obiano's wife's um, situation happened i personally did not find it funny like i was actually against bianca until i heard that um obiano's wife actually put her hands on bianca and i was like ah oh, all better off now if you touch me whatever you see collect it okay that's my point that's what i've always said male or female or young or old actually not children okay but young when i mean young i mean young adults or old adults okay whether you're a young adult or an old adult whether you are a male or a female whether the person your opponent is male or female young or old if you touch somebody if you lay your hands on somebody all better off the person is is free to do with you as they please okay so if you don't want to receive heat then keep your hands keep your dirty filthy stinking hands to yourself okay so <laughs> i don't know why i'm getting angry but that, that 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 thing actually annoys the hell out of me you do not have a right to go and hit somebody because you are offended okay i don't know why people are not getting this into their heads like then do you know <laughs> if we want to go down that rabbit hole do you know how many domestic violent cases are actually justified if you say it is okay to slap somebody because the person says something you don't like you are saying it's okay to hit somebody it's okay to defend your wife it's okay you cannot beat somebody and tell the person how to react it is okay for somebody to go and fight to defend his wife's honor simply because simply because he could not take a joke or simply because a joke is not funny or not funny to him okay do you know how many domestic violent cases are actually brought upon because the man said he didn't like what the wife said actually women that are even defending this i'm just laughing because women are usually the culprits it's us women that know how to talk yapa 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 it is us women okay i'm not saying men don't do it but the overwhelming majority of people who actually talk yapa 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 and can say the most the most annoying things are actually women so are you saying that is justified because i mean we're all about equality right if we're all about equality you can actually switch genders you can make will smith a man i mean you can make will smith a woman you can make chris rock a woman and you can make chris you, you understand what i'm trying to say like you can actually remove and switch up the genders of those people involved is this still okay for instance when regina hall was making fun of will smith and you know his wife was it okay or would it have would it have been okay if will smith was like ah, i'm so offended by what regina hall just said and he goes up to the stage and goes and slaps regina hall are we going to be okay with it let me understand because if we are all about equality like we always say that we are then it shouldn't be a problem if a man goes and slaps a woman simply because he didn't like what he said or what she said 
Okay, so if we're not okay with it, what's with the double standards? Okay, what is with the double standards? What's with the hypocrisy? Because some of you that are applauding what Chris, uh, what Will Smith did, you know that you cannot do it. You know that you will not do it. You know that you'll be offended if it is done to you. If Chris Rock was your brother or your friend, you'll be offended. So why are you defending it online because it is happening to Chris Rock? It's not your brother, it's not your friend. Why are you defending it? There is no excuse for what Will Smith did. I've got to say it over and over again. Women are here saying, uh, my man should be ready to defend me the way... Your, your, your man does not have sense. That's just the truth. <laughs> if your man does that, you and your man don't have sense. If your man does that or if you encourage your man to do that, your man and you, you both of you, your sense join together, it's not worth anything because... At the end of the day, he has a lot to lose by looking like a fool on national on, on, on national what am I saying national on international TV. He has a lot to lose. Forget that he won he won an Oscar immediately afterwards. Is it because it's Chris Rock? Is it because it's Chris Rock? Imagine if it was a white man. Anyway, I'm sure Will Smith knew what he was doing. He already sized Chris Rock. Or that's why he went and did that. Imagine if it was The Rock. Let's remove Chris now. Imagine if it was Dwayne Johnson that was on stage. Will Will Smith go there and raise his hand up? With, to a man that has muscles like that and slap him, he won't do that. You guys know that that's the truth. You guys know that he won't do that, okay? And again, the guy has even come down to apologize about it, okay? Yes, people will say he's a PR star. People will say he was forced to apologize. People will say this and that. But he did it because he knows he was wrong. The person who did it is apologizing, is sorry about it, is saying he was, it was out of character, he shouldn't have done it, it's all about peace and that. So if the person that did it is apologizing, why are you supporting Barton? The person that did the Barton is saying it's wrong what he did, but you are saying it's not wrong. Why? I don't get it, you know? I don't get it. So at the end of the day, all I'm trying to say is this, right? If somebody tells you what you don't like, tell the person back. I would have even applauded Will Smith more if the way he shouted, keep my, my wife's name out of your mouth. If the way he shouted that, that was what he had just done. Okay, like when Chris, Chris actually made that joke, if that was all Chris and Will Smith had said, I would have applauded him and I said, it was a bit much, okay, but at least he tried to defend his wife, okay? If he had even left, walked up the stage and took the microphone from Chris and I was like, don't talk about my wife anymore. I don't like it. It's not funny. She's dealing with this, 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 this. How dare you make fun of her, blah, 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 blah. If he had even done that, I would have applauded him more. But going there to go and slap another person like a child is, is unacceptable, okay? Don't go around fighting people because of what they said, though. If someone tells you something you don't like, tell the person back something they will not like. That's my specialty, okay? That's my specialty. If you come to me, you think you want to be verbally abusive, you want to insult me, I will tell you the one that will make you not sleep well at night. I will tell you the one that will make you go and start questioning your life. I will tell you the one that will make you go through life moping. You know when somebody is just moping? person just sit down one person and be moping and say, Hey, now maybe this. <laughs> You know that kind of situation where you're walking on the street and you literally stand and be looking into TNA and be wondering, now maybe this, like, I will tell you that thing back, okay? I'm not saying it's good, but I'm just saying it is better than actually getting physical because getting physical can lead to other things, okay? And again, if we are going to condone getting physical, are we ready to go down that rabbit hole? Are we ready? Because what if you tell me now, oh, I like your hair and I'm telling you that I'm offended by it. Because I can be offended by it because maybe I have alopecia and maybe I'm actually losing my hair and maybe that's why I'm wearing a wig and now you're telling me that you like my wig. Okay? And you're calling my wig my hair. You're telling me, oh my God, I love your hair. And I'm like, it's not my hair. I've been losing hair. Do you know what I'm going through? And I go and slap you. Should we go down the rabbit hole? At what point are we going to say, okay, being offended by someone's words is not the same as being physically assaulted or going yeah it's not it's not the same thing okay at what point are we going to draw that line anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me know your thoughts about this topic and yeah i'll see you all in my next episode bye guys